Hello everyone, welcome to ITLN 360 channel. And today's video is very, very, you know, important to watch because one of our subscriber requested us to create a video on Jira, okay? And we got a comment that uh, the subscriber want a video that how to configure a test case in Jira, okay? How to configure a test case issue. So for that, let us come here. So first of all, there are some conditions, okay? We have to met, met those conditions that we should have a Zephyr add-on application in our Jira account so that we can get test issue. By default, Jira don't provide us test case issue. So if you are someone who just, you know, installed Jira and started Jira, please make sure to check that you have a Zephyr add-on application, which you can add on from the Atlassian marketplace by clicking on app section and under explore more apps, you will reach out to the Atlassian marketplace. Let me show you what I mean from here. And you can search here the app for which you are looking for. So the app which we are looking that is Zephyr. And under my manage apps, as I'm already having that app, so it will match appear here that I'm having Zephyr app in my Jira account. Let it load and let me show you as well here. So here you guys can see Zephyr Scott. So I am already having an installed Zephyr add-on application, which provides to, you know, complete test case management, you know, facilities in Jira. Okay. And all the activities we can do now. So let's say I am having a Zephyr in my Jira. And I created one project and that project is not, you know, showing the test case issue. So how I can configure it that it will appear. So for that, we have to go to that particular project. So I'm going on this demo April 2021 project, which I'm having for you guys. And I will click on backlog here. So I'm using this old project guys, because in this project, you know, uh, if I will do any changes in the issues, it will not affect our, you know, project work. Okay. So that's why I'm using this old project of ours. So if we observe here in this issue, we are using test case as well. And if I click here, so you can see, I have a story task, QA tasks, work, test, all these. Now, how I can configure that it should appear or it should not appear. So for that, we will go to the project settings. And from project settings, if I will scroll down, I will see issue section separately. If I click here, I will click on types. From types, I can see on top actions and I will hit edit issue type. Now, so if you see here, I have tasks, subtask, stories, bug, epic test. Now, whatever I don't want, you know, to keep at my current schema, I can drag it back like this. If I want to take, I will add it. Similarly, test is case issue will be here. If you want to utilize it, you will just click here. So you can add in your particular project. Let me show you like this QA task. Let me remove it. Okay. And I will hit save. And it gets saved. So it is done. Now, if I go back to my project backlog, let me click on backlog. And if I click here under issue types, you can see the QA task is not appearing now, QA task issue, which was appearing before. So that is how in a project we can configure that which issue type we want to use. Either it's test case issue or any you know other issue. Apart from that, let's say if I want to you know add an issue from here, okay? And let's say I want to add test case issue, okay? Now I want to do some changes, okay? So I will click here. So I can click on show fields, find your fields. Okay. So if I click here, so it will show me all these fields, which I'm using. And if I click on find your fields, so I can search for a particular field as well. If I want to add a field or I want to, you know, if I'm looking to do the configuration in the issue template clear. So that is how ultimately we can use the complete test case configuration in Jira. Same thing you can try to utilize in your, in your, you know, Jira project as well. So I hope this video will help the, our subscriber who requested us. And I will, you know, uh, encourage each and every subscriber of ours 
each and everyone who is watching our video do let us know what you know video what con concept what topic you are looking to learn and we will be there to help you okay so we will be waiting for your comments i hope you like enjoyed the video so do like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you